Legendary souls! We meet again. My name is Joff, and I assist people raise their vibration. The vibration on this planet, it's raising every day. The sun, it's a meeting of frequency. A glorious frequency. That, uh, yeah, it's there for us. The sun is there for us. Good idea to spend some time in sun, spend some time in nature. But anyway, on to the message of this one. How you doing, everyone? How you doing? And, um... Yeah, this one here, I'm talking about a concept that uh, I've been doing for quite some time, but I have never really expressed it on these, uh, in these messages. And um, it's time to share. It is time to share. And uh, it's, it's, let's, let's put it across in a way that uh, we can explain this, Joffy boy. All right, so, so it's, uh, it's bringing in energy from the, uh, no, let's start with let's start with this. Let's start with this. So you live in your your living space, wherever that is, whatever that is, and you will leave that living space to encounter experiences that take place. I'm not sure what experiences they are. Only you know that, and you bring back the energy from the experiences that you leave your uh, your place of living, your place of sleep, your place of peace, and you bring that back into your homestead, into your place. So anyway, I'm going to expand on it ever so slightly now. So we started there. So now all of a sudden we're, we've got our living space and then we've, got, we've kind of got like two choices. You, you go out and you live in your truth. You live in your, uh, you live your life and you have the opportunity to bring back energy in a hunter-gatherer kind of uh, uh, vibration, like similarity of bringing back positive energy into your homestead. Yes, yes. And this is a really big concept that I've actually, I was doing for quite some time. I didn't realize I was doing it. I was just doing it naturally. And yeah, so basically you've got your homestead. You've got the vibrational frequency of your home, where you sleep, your place of peace, which, which it's a good idea to always uh, sage your place of peace and really look after, maintain, you know, clean it. Um, let it go of old energy. <laughs> Such a si simple shit. It really is simple shit, but fire out. It's taken me 36 years to figure it out, all of it. Um, I had a few down pat early days, but the cleanliness side of things, that's, that's fairly recent. That's why I, I'm, a, I'm a messenger for the, the masculine legends out there. Um, you know, there's not many... There's a couple of actually masculine legends that have inspired me to clean, but there's not many masculine legends out there that have really uh, made made me aware of cleanliness. So I've had to kind of figure that out um, on my own journey, which my mum has been an epic uh, <laughs> conduit of that message. But yeah, just if you clean your you clean your homestead, your space, the energy of your home, yeah. So that your, your energy of your home is the frequency, the vibration that you want it to be. Do you want it to be a place of peace? Do you want it to be a, a place of, uh, I don't know, entertainment? What, how, how do you want it? You choose. It's your life, yeah? And then you go out on your journeys and your day, whether you're going to whatever you're doing, your creation slash work, uh, your, whatever you're doing, you're going to visit, you know, going to the shops, whatever, whatever it is. And then just feel into the frequency of what you're bringing back into your place of peace, your homestead. And what I mean by this going deeper with it is that you have the opportunity that if you're not feeling too good and you're bringing that energy back into your house, then it's, it's, it's kind of like a feeling of bringing in negative energy into the house so that the house is going to clean the negative energy. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong, yeah? All I'm sharing here is that it's a good idea to be feeling good when you bring that energy back into your home because sometimes there's more than one person living in that home. And that's what I'm sharing with this is that if you go out there and if you're not feeling too good and you park around the corner from your house, just breathe. Take the time for yourself. Have the respect for not only for yourself, for your living space, for the people that live in your living space so that you can feel what you're meant to feel, allow what's meant to be left you know, behind to let go of, to let go of, and then bring in the peaceful energy into the house so that the house can stay in a positive frequency. Yes. Isn't this beautiful? And I'll share what I was doing. A lot of the time for me, uh, I've been able to kind of uh, feel into what I've just shared with you guys. And if I'm not feeling too good, I will stop. I will stop around the corner from my house um, or I'll go to nature and cleanse the energy. Or I will sage 
I'll sage my car, I'll sage me so that I can bring in positive energy into the house. And what I've learned from this going deeper was that going into nature, wow, it's like taking it to the whole new level. So you go to nature, you're bringing, you're, you're cleansing your energy. You're not only cleansing your energy, but you're bringing in this positive, happy, joyful, positive, just peaceful energy of nature, this purity place. What are, what are the most peaceful purity places that there actually is on this planet? And then you get into the car and then even put your phone on airplane mode and just get home. And all of a sudden you're, you're basically positively energy dumping into your house. All of a sudden you're gathering, hunter gathering a whole bunch of positive energy, happy energy, peaceful energy, joyful energy. And you just, just beep, 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 dump trunking that love into your house. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a gift it is to share this. I've been doing this for a while and it's time to share. I feel like I've shared with a few people just in my own way, but sharing it on a, uh, a podcast is, uh, is a gift for you legends out there. And, um, and it's, for me, it's just good a bit of awareness as well to share with you. Like if someone's always coming home upset in a lower vibrational frequency, stressed, and you, know, you, you have the opportunity to let them know, to say, hey, 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 I've, I've, I've found another way. There's a new way here that we can do this. You know, do you want to do it with me? You know, or you can share it. You can share whatever you want. You know, it's just an opportunity request. You can, you don't have to tell people, hey, you're doing this. Don't do that. You know, forcing things onto others is not the way to do things. But it's, you know, you can share it with them if they're open to receiving it. Hey, that's great. If they're not, hey, that's also great. You've planted the seed. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of like a two it's a two part message in the in the respect of uh, hunter gathering positive energy, bringing that energy into the house, and if there's a, a you know if you ever bringing in negative energy, stressful energy, good idea to leave it outside, leave it um, you know wh- wherever you want, go to nature. That's the best place, but you don't have to necessarily go to nature. I've had uh, a legend out there that shared with me, Giacomo. That um, he he leaves it on a, a tree at the front of his house. What a wizard! That, isn't that that's, what a gift that is? You know what I mean? Leaving it on the front tree, you know what a, what a what a gift that is to the the legends that live in his his homestead because he's not bringing in any of that stressful energy into the house. He's going to come in with a big smile. You know what a gift that is because then that ha- happy positive energy, which is strength by the way. You know strength is uh, if you're happy and positive. You've got a lot of strength within because you're able to be happy and positive. A lot of the ones that are emitting that strength frequency are actually ha- happy and positive people. So respect to you legends out there, by the way. But yes, yes, that's a, a, a glorious message that I get to share with you guys. I'm very grateful and honored to share it with you because this one um, got given to me by the universe, I feel, and I get to be a conduit. What a gift. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, shall we take a few breaths to celebrate? Beautiful, beautiful. I'm actually out here in nature at the moment. What a place, man! I tell you what, the sun's out. I got my top off. It's the what towards the end of winter. Doesn't matter. The sun's doing its job. It's raising my frequency. It's warming me up within. It's removing any sort of negative energy. Staring at the sun. What a gift. Such a simple thing to do. You stare at the sun for sometimes 15 seconds. Because, you know, you've got to build your tolerance up. Wow. You know what it does for you inside? Wow. It's, uh, it does magic. It just lights up any dense energy, any stressed energy within you and allows it to be purged, allows it to be released, allows it to be let go of. Because the sun's got our backs. Nature's got our backs. The energy around you has you. Feel into it. Thank you for listening. If you like this message and you feel it can benefit someone that you know, hey, feel free to share it with them. Why not? This is a real, very powerful message that, uh, that yes, it's, 
it's uh, it's been given to me to share with you so i'm honored to be the conduit and um yeah that's why i always i always ask for any any uh any five stars or or uh, likes and stuff just so that i can you know this this energy can kind of grow and can be shared with more legends out there but at the same time it's hitting as many legends as it's meant to hit right now so thank you for being one of them <laughs> you're a legend i love you with an open mind and an open heart anything is possible peace and love to you all namaste